Because when Ken made it, he just laced the Avondale straight to the helmet. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to mine with that leather cover. Because his 
Did you get your raptor patch? Oh yeah, you can do the tutorial now. Yeah, you can be a raptor if you can do a hundred shots for a hundred days straight without missing one. Check out hundred day hundred day pal challenge on on Facebook. I'm on there, but I haven't been on there in so long. Yeah, you should. Now you have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> It only took like uh, 140 days to get a that consecutive time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been falling down on mine. But the hay's almost in, the car's coming along. I'll get back in the game. Just now that I've got everything here. Everything's Yeah.
that. Just like that. Nobody likes that guy. <laughs> At least it was in the armor. Yeah. Thank you. The headshot came in. Anti-bark or anti-bite? It's just a, uh, what do they call that? It's a lead. So that you, it's a gentle lead, so that when I pull here, it pulls her nose that way. No, it's like a horse, so you don't chuck the shit out of the beginning of your mind. Right. It's nose. a lot easier to pull her nose than her, you know, shoulders. A lot easier on her, too, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. She can still get a good chomp on you. I know my border car leans in and paddles, and you just got to lead right back. and should take the good I put a harness on her once and actually did rollerblading with her and once I get her to behave a little better she'll be great. Yeah. She could practically be a cart dog. <laughs>
I know it works. Right in there. Right. There's a dog walking up the path. I'm here. Welcome. So, like, half of your fights are going to go where, like, on half of them, you know why you died. Oh, you're focused. I just kind of sit there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
feel like that running is helping my endurance at all. I could be surprised. Yeah. The recovery is better, but the infight doesn't feel any better. What are you doing for run? Well, we're on the cool down or the the taper down now. So I did from Sunday. Right. To, How fast are you running? Uh, like 9:15 pace for 10 miles. Not a very well for 10 miles. That's not bad. Yeah. For what you're doing here, that gets you into a steady low rhythm, not that yeah. high fast. Definitely the wrong it's type of condition. Well, no, that's not bad, but yeah. you also probably need to do sprints in conjunction. Yeah, yeah. I've got the race in uh, two weeks, I guess, so yeah. I'm going to finish so up this training. That, maybe. I mean, yeah, I'm stepping it down to like, so I'm averaging like 24, 25 miles a week, and so I'm going to step it down to like 10. Because just enough to, and I'll do it faster. So I'll do like three mile runs instead of really long ones. Isn't it surprising that what exercise helped me the most for fighting? What's that? Ditch digging. Really? That makes sense. For uh, a whole week, um, we were digging up the uh, water line in my front yard. I mean, oh, I yeah. I back hole, but we yeah. were going at it. It was in a small confined space. You could only get so much that way. Yeah. And that's the only time that I ever felt like I never warmed up after two hours of practice. That's awesome. <laughs> You know, for three days I've been digging, digging, digging. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I think once I'm done with this uh, race, I might jump back into boxing because that's a good one to one. That's a good one too. So. I haven't but, boxed since like February, so. But one of the things I would also do is I do all my strength workout before my run. Yeah, 100%. Because the combination of those is a lot harder than people think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The whole time in the Air Force, I would do all my push ups and sit ups and everything else, and yeah. then I'd do a three mile run. Right, yeah, I'd do it at the end for sure. And I never had a problem with my strength. <laughs> I could uh, yeah. do a mile and a half in about 11 15. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Killer. Yeah, I used to be a fast guy, but I was like 60 pounds lighter. No, 50 pounds lighter. Yeah, but couldn't bench half of what I bench now. Couldn't squat a third of what I squat now. Yeah. So it's like, okay, that's, you know, it's all a trade off. But. Well, yeah, but you got to be able to do both for this sport. Yeah, definitely. Especially if you start doing two handed weapons where you're pushing and yeah. shoving and yanking people around. Yeah. Oh, geez. I mean, even when I was in okay shape, I could do an hour of this at this you know, go back in line. Yeah. And then two minutes of pole axe work and I was done. Oh, for sure. Hi, Bubba. Oh, my goodness. What a sweetie. What a sweetie. Oh, my goodness. What a sweetie. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm serious. Another dog walking along that path. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like that one. Or the yeah. Each other good, didn't it? Did you even notice? <laughs> no. I'm not really getting the level of fight analysis out of you though, or something for it. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi. Clean and fresh. Cool. Lefty versus lefty. That's really well timed. Yeah, lefties don't know how to fight lefties. Yeah. Wait a second. just go out lefty because I used to do quarantine so I'm not bad with my left. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm really bad with my left. With strapped heater it's like <laughs> yeah. unless I'm in a tournament I never switch hands ever like so you should start doing some pillow work with both hands and then uh, just for fun alternate. Yeah definitely gotta I gotta get a different pellet set up. I have a I have a wave master but I don't want to tear it apart. Yeah. Um, get a boxing bag. Yeah. That's about the best pellet I think I've come up with. Yeah. Well I have one of those ones that's like pedestal mounted, but I wanna use it for taekwondo and boxing. And so if I tear it up with a sword, I like wrapped it in a tarp for a while and that helped a little bit, but uh, so just get a boxing bag. Hitting that with a piece of your hand doesn't do anything to it. Yeah, true. So if you can get a duffel bag and just fill it with stuff and just hang it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point.
especially if you can get a box, a duffel bag or a boxing bag that's on a movable platform. Yeah, yeah. Something that you could let it be like a 90 degree on the swing so it's hanging out here and you could actually move and follow it. Oh, yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah. That'd be super sweet. I don't know how I would do that. Just gotta have a pedestal in the ground with a swing at the top. I feel like if I could weld, I could do all sorts of cool stuff like that. Oh, I could weld. Yeah. Yeah, you can make it, like you say, set it in, in uh, concrete or something like that. Yeah, yeah, just make it spin on a bearing or something. That would force you to move. That was always one of my biggest problems. When I started, I had a stationary Pell, mm. and I learned to do all my shots on that, and yeah. I ended up being stationary. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I need to work on if I'm gonna uh, if I'm gonna try to get around somebody. I need to throw shots in conjunction with it. It's like I I see the angle that I want, but I'm I need to create the opportunity to get there as opposed to just like, hey, I'm gonna walk over here. Don't do anything while I'm doing this, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's the trick. How do you maneuver someone where you want them to be? Yeah. So those are the best fighters. They're not killing you with the first shot. They're not killing you with the second shot. They're setting you up for that third, fourth, or fifth. Exactly. And then one thing I gotta do as well is be aware when I'm starting to get tired and my some of my speed based baits don't work when I'm gassed because I can't like I can't do the quick switch that I need to do to get that you know it's like you slow down by a quarter of a second and all of a sudden your bait doesn't work anymore so start working on not holding to that set timing yeah definitely because I definitely I was a drummer as a kid so I oh yeah you wanted to carry in the one two three four yeah. five six seven one two three four yeah. And I'm a bassist. Go rhythm section. <laughs> so. Yeah, and people would just start to predict. You're going here, you're going there, you're going there. Yeah. you got to start swinging at the in-between beats. Yeah, definitely. Syncopate those shots. <laughs> Every now and then, I feel like a Jedi where I just see the shot coming and walk right in on it. Yeah, yeah. But it's few and far between. Yeah. It's just a... <laughs> it's a... Big combination because like sometimes I feel like I see something and then I can't execute on it and then sometimes I feel like I yeah. am fresh but I, I didn't see it, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's all like Alexandros with his spin. Yeah, I've yeah. I've gotten to the point where I can see the spin, I can yeah. predict the spin, I can block the spin, but I can't take advantage of it and I should be able to. I'm sitting here going, right. this is what I should do and I just block. Yeah. Best. Or I'll sit there and go, oh, here's the spin. Whack. Why did I let it hit me? Yeah. <laughs> No, literally, I let it hit me. Yeah, it's like, I don't understand <laughs> what, yeah. I'm just so proud that I saw it coming. Yeah. <laughs> I got somebody with a spinning back fist in a Taekwondo tournament one time, <laughs> and my master was watching, and he goes, okay, way to get the point. However, no more spinning back fist. That's gay. I was like, <laughs> okay, gay. okay, sir, like, sounds good. <laughs> It's like, if it works, it's not gay. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, like, and when will that work again? Well, yeah, we'll see. it doesn't matter. It worked when I needed it to work. <laughs> Plus, it embarrassed the shit out of me. I know I don't like to get hit with a spinning back fist. Yeah, because you're like, what the? Oh, man, why didn't I see that one? Yeah. Now I feel like shit. Yeah. Or get shot when you're, when you're kneeling and they get you with this one. It's like, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Are you talking SCA or something? SCA, where they they step and they stab you between their own legs. Oh, I'm yeah. like, just kill me, man. Don't take my dignity when you do it. Like, Steer car won a crown that way. Right? Really? Let's go. Can I take a step that way? Certainly. Sam has that at my water bottle. Where, where, where? Right there. Oh, there. Okay, good. Hey. Thanks, Sam. So, I can have a lot of stuff. I don't have my glasses. Oh, Yeah.
That's separate from like real ID. Is she fit? Is she all fit? No, boxer and fit. The real ID in Idaho, I had to give all that. It's the star or whatever. So go in and be like, yeah, I do. Passport card to get to North America. Oh, yeah, that's a passport. Yeah. I think, I think we just got a passport and a passport card in. I wonder if that fellow would even listen to that. I think he'd be there at once. I thought he was a nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy. Yeah, yeah. You, that's where you made it down. 
Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yep, yep, they got gumbo, they got everything. I was just thinking Dell's is really good for their Thank <laughs> you. 